Hey Deckers, it's another week or two in fact for this one. So 254 games have been updated since our last video as verified or playable. Check out the article linked in the description and comment below for full links to all of these games as well as some extra info. Kicking off our top 10 this week then is Bing in Wonderland. Verified status for Steam Deck, originally released on the 13th of January 2023. Overwhelmingly positive overall status on this one with 1,274 reviews. A new entry in the Wamba Warriors franchise, a roguelike monster killing satisfaction galore without any exploration elements. The game is filled to the brim with exotic enemies and stages with a collection of deep and robust boons, weapons and items plus an abundance of pointless features and useless details. At number 9 we have Root with playable status, originally released on the 24th of September 2020, sporting very positive overall status with 2,500 reviews, time to beat around 1-30 to 30 hours, a nefarious Marquise de Cat has seized the Great Woodlands, intent on harvesting its riches. Under her rule, the many creatures of the forest are banded together. This alliance will seek to strengthen its resources and subvert the rule of the cats. At number 8, Despot's Game Dystopian Battle Simulator. Verified status, originally released on the 29th of September 2022. Very positive overall review status with over 2,000 reviews. Time to beat around 5 to 40 hours on this one and around 50 people playing actively a day. A group of people wake up in a strange post-apocalyptic labyrinth, naked with no memories and with a bunch of weapons. Is this a joke, a crazy experiment or a game? You'll find out soon enough, just try not to die first. At number 7, Shadowrun Hong Kong Extended Edition. Playable status on Steam Deck, originally released on the 20th of August 2015. Very positive overall status with 3,171 reviews. Time to beat of around 20 to 40 hours on this one with still around 70 people playing a day on Steam. This extended edition adds the all new 6 plus hours of the Shadow of the Hong Kong bonus campaign as a free upgrade. Delivering on the funding goal achieved by fans in Harlan Scheme's wildly successful Shadowrun Hong Kong Kickstarter. At number 6, Blade Symphony, playable status and now free to play. Originally released on the 7th of May 2014, with mixed reviews at almost 5,000 of them. Originally released on the 7th of May 2014. All online play with this one and not many people playing per day, but hopefully this will spare on a few more players. Prove you are the world's greatest swordsman in this slash em up featuring a highly detailed and in-depth sword fighting system. Face down other players in tactical sword play, 2v2, team jewels, sandbox and free for all. At number 5, RoboQuest. Playable status, originally released on the 20th August 2020. Very positive overall status with over 4,500 reviews. The time to beat around 6 to 70 hours and at least 120 plus players a day on Steam. RoboQuest is a fast paced FPS with roguelike mechanics, playable in single player or two player co op. Shoot and run your way through randomly generated environments, pick up upgrades along the way, and blast the powerful big bad bosses that you encounter. At number 4, Gunbrella. Verified status ahead of its release at some point in 2023. This Devolver digital title is a gritty newer punk action adventure set in a world dependent on a rapidly diminishing natural resource. Fill the rain soaked boots of a guff woodsman on a quest for revenge. Entering an unfamiliar town armed only with the Titula Gumbrella, a high calibre firearm that doubles as an umbrella. At number 3, System Shock. Playable status, this is the remaster that was released on the 30th of May 2023. The time to beat around 14 to 34 hours. Sporting very positive reviews so far with almost 3,000 of them and not far off 3,000 players a day on Steam. System Shock is the fully fledged remake of the groundbreaking original from 1994, combining cult gameplay with the all new high definition visuals, updated controls and an overhauled interface as well as new sounds and music. At number 2 we have Gears 5, officially playable although you will need a Proton GE to get this running and still get some anti-cheat warnings. Originally released on Steam on the 10th of September 2019 with a time to beat around 11 to 18 hours on the campaign front and around 400 players active on Steam but of course you've got crossplay with Xbox if you are able to do multiplayer. With all out war descending, Kate Diaz breaks away to uncover her connection to the enemy and discovers the true danger to Sarah. Her New campaign features let you take your character and weapon skins into new playthroughs 
and enjoy bonus difficulties and modifiers. At number one this week though is Street Fighter 6, now verified status, originally released on the 2nd of June 2023 with a very positive overall review status with over 6,000 reviews so far. Time to be on this one is anywhere between 16 and 34 hours with the world tour and has a staggering 50,000 plus active players a day so far on Steam. Powered by Capcom's proprietary re-engine, the Street Fighter 6 experience spans across three distinct game modes featuring World Tour, Fighting Ground, and the Battle Hub. Play legendary masters and new fame favorites like Ryu, Chun-Li, Luke, Jamie, Kimberly, and more in this latest edition, with each character featuring striking new redesigns and exhilarating cinematic specials. That's our top 10 this week. Let us know what you have been playing, whether it's on Steam or not, and be sure to check out these update every week. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.